last vlog of 2019. First stop, Aldi. Thought I'll just give you a quick tour of the Airbnb. It seems like somebody had the genius idea. They've got lots of designer stores. Because you're sat in the car going backwards on the railway. I don't think I like it. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a very good Christmas. I nearly said welcome back to Christmas with Mr. Carrington, but that's over now. <laughs> I'm filming this before Christmas, but you will be watching this after Christmas, I think. I'm currently at Hamburg Airport and I'm about to go on a road trip up to an island called Silt, which is about four hours drive from here. Sleep has been lacking because of editing all the videos, so first things first, we'll get a little coffee. Got a nice baguette for the road and an emergency satsuma that I picked up from the hotel and a latte from Starbucks. I couldn't find my travel cup, so apologies for the naughty cup. About an hour into the journey, I'm just going through my trusty planner and I'm going to list all the remaining videos that are coming up. And I'll link the Christmas playlist in the description box. So if you want to go back and have a bit of a binge watch of my December uploads, because I was uploading every single day up until Christmas, then um, that'll be in the description box. You can go and have a watch of those if you would like to. up with Lucy Carter who I think is going to be having her twins. I also picked up some banana bread from Starbucks which is my favourite. Just at the train, just got the tickets for the Silt Shuttle which is the train that you drive the car onto that takes you across to the island. This looks crazy. And the lady just given us this bag that's got Lidl on it and a lighthouse that's full of information about the island. As long as you here with me. So the way to get across is to drive your car onto this train which is essentially just like a big platform on wheels and all the cars are lined up. There's cars in front, cars behind, all parked up and soon the train will depart and take us across to the island. So while we wait for the car train shuttle thing to depart, I'm just reading up some facts on the island. So the population here is 21,000. Pronounced Zult, oh sorry, I've been saying it wrong. Zult is a 25 mile long stretch on Germany's North Sea coast that is one of the longest unbroken stretches of immaculate sandy beach in all of Europe. We're moving backwards. This is actually quite a weird sensation because you're sat in the car and then you're like going backwards on the railway. I don't think I like it, look at this. I'm just looking out the window now because I'm feeling quite nauseous. I think it's going backwards in a car like this that just feels really bizarre. Oof. They've even got double-decker ones so that when it's busy periods they can put on more services. And then you just drive off 
it opens up the side here and then you're onto the island, which is perfect. First stop, Aldi. Gonna grab some coffee. I think obviously we'll go, are these flavored or are they just festive? <laughs> they just look more appealing. Are you joking me? Is this for real? Oh, I've got the glove on. That was because I was getting <laughs> croissants out of the bakery. So we've arrived. I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of the Airbnb before we mess it up. <laughs> so it's got a little kitchenette when you come in here with a hob, toaster, coffee machine, kettle, squeaky floorboards. There's a separate toilet. The shower is just off of the kitchen. <laughs> this is like a loft space, as you can see, obviously with the sloping walls. Um, but it's really cozy. It's got a couple of beds here with like a curtain that goes across and looks like there's some storage in there. And then there's the living space as well. Very nice and a view out the window here. What have they left here? That is some German sect, which is, I guess they're kind of sparkling wine, a bottle of water. Lovely. There's no Wi-Fi here and the mobile reception is quite patchy, so I'm very glad that I got all my uploads done at the hotel in Hamburg. So I can just switch off now. It'd be very nice. Picked up a few essentials in Aldi. They have glue wine that's only 99 cents here, which looks lovely. And also some of this, which is eye liquor, which is kind of like eggnog, I guess, which is really nice, you can warm that up. Then I got some of these like Marzi pancakes, and then some crackers, some bread, some coffee. Oh, these are like uh, Pringles. Um, some bits for the morning, croissants and bread and bananas, and smoothies, some Coke, orange juice, bottle of Cremant. Dinner is going to literally be hummus. Salami that has cheese. <laughs> around the edges and olives, camembert, brie, that sort of dinner tonight. I picked up this jumper in Lidl. It was only, I think it was six euros and it says, let's get jolly. What do we think? I really like that. It's got like a fluffy thing going on with the letters. Bargain. I mean, it's not that I need any more Christmas jumpers. And these are from Aldi, but they're basically like the little lint Santas and reindeers. This was like 79 cents or something. There's a couple of postcards here of the island, so really looking forward to exploring tomorrow. Just came into the kitchen and found this, and then it seems like somebody had the genius idea to put it in the coffee machine, along with that orange off the table. Thank you, mate. Sip of mulled wine, everything will be fine. beautiful morning. I really like the way they've built in this wardrobe here. So it's got kind of like the storage behind it that's been used next to the bed and then really well designed because it's quite deep and they've just sort of fitted like a floating shelf on top of this bracket. Thought that'd be quite a good idea if we ever get around to doing the loft. And I'm just going to take some clothes with me to shoot some pictures today. So most of these are going to come along. We've gone for a bit of a capsule wardrobe for this trip. Lots of reds and whites. And this is the Airbnb from the outside, in case you're wondering what it looks like. That's the room up there. Just seen some rabbits chasing down the lane. A short walk from the Airbnb is this 
Stone Age grave, so this is over 5,000 years old. It's closed for the winter months, but during the summer, you can actually go in there. It's been open to the public since 1928. So we're just heading down to the sand dunes. I can't see anything, so I hope you can see me okay. It's very windy as well, so um, hopefully the sound quality is okay for you. The air here is so clean, I can't describe it, but it's sort of so crisp and clean. I think it's because it's such a long stretch by the coast, but you can really tell that it's like, good air. <laughs> Coming from London, this is a rarity. This area is all protected. So this dune up ahead is the highest point on the island. right the way across the island you can see a lighthouse over there which we'll be visiting later on so these mounds are called sand dunes so they're essentially there is sand under here but it's all held together from all of this heather that's growing on it we went swimming in the sea and went in a straight line I've just had a look and we are here and we would go straight the way across to Newcastle so anyone watching from Newcastle I'm waving Because the island is so narrow and it is disappearing, children are taught they always have to empty their shoes of any sand before they leave the island.
So the houses here have the traditional thatch roof. So many of the houses here will actually continue underground, not just one story, but up to four stories. And they're known as iceberg houses because you only see the top sections. And that's because they have very tight planning laws on the island. So you can't change the traditional look of the thatched cottages here. You're not allowed to build any additional outhouses. So the only way to build some additional space is to go down. Let's give you an idea of the property prices here. So we've got ranging from around a million, two million, six million. What? A 79 square meter flat is 1,295,000 euros. Varg. having a look at some of these shops here. It looks like they've got lots of designer stores. Just going past the Tattinger bar. This here is a traditional strand corb, which essentially means beach basket. So this is perfect for when you're on the beach. You can sit in there. This comes down as a bit of a sun visor. And then it has these little things that you can pop a drink onto, little leg rests, and you're sheltered from the sun and the wind. Santa over there. I don't know what that is, but I think it might be an emergency banana. This is the local pub, which looks very cosy indeed. They've got this shop, Horwico, here, which is from Scotland. Here you can see one of the beach baskets with the footrest out. This place here is the nightclub. <laughs> Never seen a nightclub with a thatched roof before. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. for a bite for lunch and I've gone for some Marzi pancake. We're now heading to the most northern part on the island, which is called Ellenbogen. You have to pay a six euro fee to cross the barrier to get to this part of the island. And essentially it is a giant nature reserve. Not only is this the most northern point on the island, but it's also the most northern point on the whole of Germany. So this is actually past the border of Germany on the mainland and it's up higher, so it's actually opposite Denmark. Deep in love oh. oh, this is everything With you right next to me 
so alive in tonight. Oh. So we're right at the northern tip now, and over there is Denmark. I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This beach has got these stones on it, which I think are probably to protect the sand dunes from eroding away. I'm guessing that's what they're for. And if you're lucky, you may spot seals here. It says to keep at least 50 meters distance away if you see any of them sleeping in the sand dunes. Today is the 21st of December, which is also the shortest day of the year. And I'm really feeling that. It's just about four o'clock and it's starting to get dark. And everywhere's starting to look very festive as all the lights start to come on. Now in Vesterland, which is like the main town on the island, this is the main shopping street, I think. And they have a Christmas swim here where everybody runs into the water on the 26th. And we're back. I've changed in something a bit more comfortable. I've got my Primark pyjamas on that are actually made out of fleece, which is perfect if you've got a drafty or a cold house. They keep you very warm. I've got the top as well, but it's way too hot to have that on in bed, but it's good for like lounging around in. And I thought, because this is going to be the last vlog of 2019, we would toast that. So I've got a bottle of champs, <laughs> any excuse. <laughs> and what we're going to do is go through the bits that I picked up at the shops in Hamburg. Remember that I popped into H&M home. There's a few bits I've got to show you. It's a sound we all like. I picked up a new ornament today. So cheers. And if the lighting's looking a bit odd, it's because I've put a very strange 
a couple of lamps pointing at me to try and light this space, but it's not quite working, is it? But um didn't really want to pack the soft boxes. <laughs> so cheers, and let's have a look at what I got from H&M Home. I'm kind of wishing that I'd actually bought a few Christmas decorations with me. That's the only thing about this Airbnb. At this time of year, I think it does need a little bit of festive decor. It doesn't have to go wild, but a few strings of fairy lights, maybe a small tree would have been nice. Maybe for next year I'll bring a portable tree. Don't even tempt me because you know that I will. So, from H&M Home, they have got a sale on, so it's definitely worth popping in if you've got H&M Home near to you. Um, they had some lovely cushion covers. I just can't resist their cushion covers. So, I'm doing a bit of a bedroom makeover at the moment that will be coming for you early in the new year. So, with that in mind, I picked up these two which I thought would look really nice on the bed, either side. And these were 3 99 that's euros, down from 9 99 And it's this really nice kind of silky material in this quite retro, beigey brown. It's almost like a toffee colour. And then it's got the really nice piping around the edges. So I thought they looked really expensive. And I thought maybe with some just nice simple white bedding. Which I am keeping my eye out for. So if anyone knows of any places that have got some good quality bedding in the sales this year. Then do let me know. And also don't forget you can always follow me over on my home account on Instagram. Which is where I'll be snapping any sales bargains. As and when I see them I'll be sharing those on my story. So feel free to follow me over there. The other cushion cover that I got, which I had looked at throughout the year, but never quite made it into my basket, is this one. This reminds me, again, of a slightly kind of retro print, almost like a 60s kind of style. Um, or maybe not, I don't know, but I just feel like these sort of colours are quite of that era, maybe. Or maybe even 50s, I'm not sure. <laughs> so it's got these palm trees on it, and then it's got this, what bird is that? Is that a heron? Uh, flying over and then a bit of a kind of river going on and then I'll oh, just notice that down in the corner There's also a leopard um, Which is really cool and this is from their conscious range. It's organic cotton and this was only $1.99 um, And it was only $4.99 in the first place, which I think is really reasonable So I thought that's really nice and the last one that I picked up in store was this one So they're all sort of similar colors. So I think they might work quite nicely together If not this one might be quite good in the office slash spare room, which needs some work. <laughs> it's been quite full with all of the Christmas stuff going on. Um, yeah, definitely going to be some declutter videos coming up early in the new year, let me tell you. Um, but this one was 3 99 down from 9 99 and it's a bit of a thicker one. It's kind of like a canvassy material. I just like the simple print on this. And if you saw my Lanzarote vlogs where I went to the Manrique house, it kind of reminds me of that kind of vibe. Almost like an artist kind of just painted that on really simple. Um, so yeah, I thought actually the three, or four in total, all work quite nicely together. In their different ways and different textures and patterns. So I will enjoy playing around with those. And then today I picked up this, which some of you may recognise if you saw the German Christmas traditions and New Year traditions um, with Sandy Makes Sense which I'll link in the description box in case you missed it. It's a good fun video and it's a good one to be watching at this time of year because it does include the New Year's Eve traditions um, that Germans love to do. And this is the lead melting kit, although they've changed it slightly. So some of you probably are aware that lead is quite toxic, poisonous, probably not the best thing to be melting in your homes. So they've actually changed it to wax. Um, so these have little wax melts on, but it essentially hopefully will do the same thing in that you melt one of these, throw it into some cold water, it creates a new shape, and that shape will predict your future for the year. So. I'm going to be doing this with my parents um, on New Year's Eve because I think they'll find that really fun to do and we can all have a laugh at our fortunes for the year ahead. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get some good ones. And then the last thing that I've got to show you is what I picked up today and it's a new ornament for the collection. So this will be going on the smaller tree. If you missed the um, living room house tour of all the Christmas decorations, I'll link that for you as well. But I thought this would go really nicely with all the slightly you know, like tacky ornaments or novelty ornaments that I've got. I thought this was a really nice one um, to go with my collection because obviously I do love my travels and it has the little London sign on there as well. So 
it is quite often that I'm with my wheelie suitcase. <laughs> so I thought that'd be a really nice little addition to my collection. That was 14 99 but they had a 30% off sale um, in euros as well. So that was probably about 11 euros. And it's cool that it's also got um, lots of places that I visited as well. And some of you are aware that I'm half Australian as well. So it's cool that it's got Australia on there. And obviously I love New York and Paris. And I have been to Thailand as well. So... Um, yeah, really, really nice. It's got a little luggage tag on the back as well. So that's everything that I've got to show you. So I think I'm going to wrap it up for this vlog and also for this year. So all that remains to say is thank you so much for watching as always. I've really appreciated all of your support throughout the year, all of the comments. I read every single one. It's so nice to see you all there, all the thumbs up. All of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. We've passed 30k now, which I still can't get my head around. But I do want to mention that in this video, so when I look back on this, I remember how many of you there are at the current time, which is just amazing. I do really appreciate every single one of you for watching, and thank you so much if you have subscribed. It does mean a lot to me. I'm going to enjoy my glass of champagne. I want to say cheers to you all. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a very good New Year's Eve, whatever you get up to. I think I'm gonna be staying in this year and not doing very much. I will be back in the new year where I've got lots of things planned for you in January. So we'll be kicking things off with some really exciting videos, which I can't wait to share. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and the year of videos. If you've missed any throughout December, I've linked my Christmas playlist for you. So do feel free to check that out and have a little binge watch if you've missed any. And don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram as well i'm mr carrington and i will be posting on there throughout the bit in between time of christmas and new year the bit where we don't really know what we're doing but um just continue eating and drinking and enjoying ourselves cheers <laughs> so yeah a very happy and healthy new year to all of you i will see you in 2019 thanks for watching bye